um, this is going to be a bit of a, a rough video because I haven't got any video composing skills. So um, <laughs> just basically move the video windows around. So I'm doing a screen recording and move myself over here. Imagine that was done with the video editing tool. Okay, so point of this video is to look at the Nikon D5200's limitations. Uh, one of them is the 15 or 20 minute timeout. So that was put there because the camera manufacturers have to pay more tax if it's counted as a video camera, like what, like a video recording device. And if you put like a 15 or 20 minute limit in there, then it doesn't count because it's not usable as a camera, <laughs> as a video camera. Anyway, so that's on there. It's just basically annoying. If you've got a DSLR, you can even record both to the memory card and to through HDMI through Live View, like Live View will just time out and go black. So yeah, uh, that's one of them. And another one is the bitrate is not limited, but it's lower than it can be. So you can like raise both those up and there's a few other things you can do. So what I'm going to look at here is, is there a tool on Nick Hack, Nick, nikonhacker.com called Nikon Patch. And the idea is that you download the official firmware from Nikon and then use a Nikon patch tool to change some of the values within that official firmware. So it's not like a third party firmware or something someone's just made up. You're just taking the original firmware and just changing some values like to increase the bit rate or increase the timeouts and the rest of the firmware is just the same. It's just a few numbers have changed. And then you put the firmware on your memory card and then put it in your camera and just do the normal firmware update. So one of the ways you can do it is with the uh, Indicon patching tool that you download. An easy way is that you can come to this uh, Nikon patching page and you can browse for the file here and choose some options and then choose what you want to unpatch and then be able to save it. So I'm just going to go through that just because there's a few little gotchas basically. Uh, so this one is download firmware and on the, if you look on the patching tool here, if you look for the D5200, it's down in this section. Yeah, so there's a, there's one for the 102, but there's nothing against the 103. So you're thinking, ah, uh, well, what's happening here? Uh, it's because that firmware is the newest one for the Nikon D5200, but it hasn't been has been made compatible with the patcher. So we have to use version of the firmware 102, which is the previous version. And like on many manufacturer sites, you can only download the latest version. So yeah, so if you if you are searching on the Nikon site, then Come down here, I'm on a Mac, so uh, you've got the 103 Mac um, package there and you can choose Windows and then come down here and then you've got the Windows package, but it's uh, version 1.03. And there's no sort of way to go. Oh, what, you can see what the changes were from previous versions, but you can't actually download the previous version. Yeah, so I search for like, Nick on 5200 firmware 102 version found this page and someone said that um, you can either get the, the old firmware from here that's a link to the, the, win, the Windows firmware so that would go to directly to this download so if you're on a Mac then you can go through to this Wayback Machine which is this one so this is on the Wayback Machine so if you don't know it's a website that just archives uh, pages from popular sites or ones that people decide to uh, monitor or watch or archive. So in the past, this has been the official firmware page that we've seen for the, the, the current version 103, but now this is going back in time into the Wayback Machine until 102. So with macOS, you can download 
somewhere down here. Yeah, so you've got the same thing, except that. And use the li license agreement, which is blank. So you can download this. 302 redirects and invalid. Okay, try that again. Let's try better. Okay, so that URL looks like a real one. <laughs> Alright, so the Wayback Machine couldn't load that URL for whatever reason, maybe because the redirects, but now I can download it. That's downloaded. Okay, so now we can go to this Nikon patch tool. First, let's go to the downloads file. Okay. So if you, I've just opened up that um, disk image for Mac probably be a zip or executable uncompressing archive well whatever you just double click on whatever comes down with windows and it'll give you this contents of the folder inside and what we want is this firmware file which is just a binary extension here so this is the file so we should be able to browse to that yep so here we go so this is the disk image that's mounted from the downloaded file. If you had it and you had to extract it, you go to your downloads folder and blah, 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 and get to this file basically. And it's the one we want to look at. So see on the options that we had down here, well, the things that the firmware updated at the video, the high quality uh, bitrate is up to 40 megabits per second. So that's up from 24, so that's quite a lot. So. I mean, it might not get up there all the time, but it's just a max that it can can go up to, so it's not going to be capped at 24 anymore. Um, then there is, what looks like a 64 megabit version as well for that. So that's even higher. That's crazy. Because uh, that's, yeah, that's a lot more than the, the stock one. And then the other one, the one that I'm, I'm interested in is the, live view timeout uh so i'm using live view right now so at some point in this recording if i go on too long or well, if i go beyond 15 minutes it's going to go black and i'll have to reactivate the live view <laughs> okay so going back to um a page which is at the top here and say uh, okay these all sound good so let's look Oh, okay, so it's so one, one or the other. So you can have the live view, and you can either have 40 megabits per second or 64 megabits. And what did it say down here? It said, okay, so what I want is beta anyway. Let's go for, let's go for maximum. <laughs> so always the best way, right? So, uh, <laughs> so. Uh, so accept that, save the patch firmware file. So you've got this patch one from Blob. And <laughs> we're gonna save that. And we'll have a patch firmware file. Right, so then it says blah, 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 put the patch firmware on your memory card. Now it's saved, it was saved as this patched blah, 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 dot bin. I'm not sure if you had to rename it back to just look what it was called. So the original firmware was called that, right? So does it matter? So just put it on there, All right? Blah, blah, blah. That file should be given the same name. So yeah, so my suspicions were correct. <laughs> so I just need to find the window again. So yeah, this one was patch one. I guess it's good that they call it patched because then you can save it in the same place as the original 
and then also you know which one's which and so yeah i should have sd card read it yeah okay so this is a sd card with some probably some photos on here a bunch of bunch of raw files on there and my my firmware uh so i updated it to 1.8.3 a long time ago it's probably got an old timestamp on it uh yes yes it has all right so that was a uh, three and a half years ago or so so let's delete that oh okay it created that's very annoying so matt creates a i'm not sure if that's a actually on the cards or not but does it matter <laughs> <laughs> right so we've got this firmware on here now uh so now i should be able to do the actual update okay blah, 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 blah. menu setup firmware version update yep so i've done it before so I know it's basically in the menu system. I'll try and that should, that should I should be able to do that and still show it. I'm just reaching around the back of the camera now. <laughs> it's probably not the best way to do it, but anyway, so if I set up firmware, is that so? That's fine. Ah, you know why it's not giving you the update version? It's because I'm an idiot and didn't take <laughs> the memory card out of... Yeah, I should, I should call that something else because that seems like the camera itself is connected. But anyway, so currently in use, is it? Ah, it was currently in use because it was trying to do that delete of the trash folder. Yes, okay. So now I can remove the SD card. Okay, I'm just taking the camera off the tripod just so I can get, put the memory card in. Ah, yeah, cool. So with the memory card in, I can go down to updates. And ask me if I want to go from 103 to 102, and the answer is yes. Okay, so so now now it says warning: do not turn camera off during update. Updating will take several minutes. Now on the site it says definitely use the fully charged battery, and that's probably the best thing to do. Um, I'm currently using a dummy battery connected to the mains power and on where I am now I haven't got an uninterruptible power supply for my mains power so if I had a power cut now then the camera would probably be bricked or <laughs> yeah there'd be a problem I heard stories of people trying to do this type of firmware with a, a, a grip battery and the grip fell out or like wasn't screwed in properly and it sort of disengage from the camera body during this update and then the camera didn't work anymore so yeah if you're like me and your camera is quite a few years old and it's gone past warranty and there's no way you could get it repaired under warranty then yeah just use the fully charged battery instead <laughs> okay so it says it's still updating it uh, looks like it's loaded it all in and um, it's like a progress bar that's gone up it says update completed turn camera off okay so shit the firmware version now one or two cool okay i don't think it says anywhere particularly on this page, this one, there. Yeah, so I don't think it says specifically, but 
Yeah, on the live view things, if I can find it on here. Right, so I guess it's in... Yeah, timers, maybe? Auto off timers. Okay, so this live view one, um, right, so 50 minutes is the one that's been, that's the one that's been modified by the patcher to be, it's either infinity or like seven days or it's more than 24 hours. So it's, it's as long as you'd need it to be. Okay, uh, let's just check that again. Stand by eight imagery playback. So I love used to probably so off. Yeah. So yeah, that seems to be the only issue that I did have with it. I haven't tried the high bit rates. Um, it was just basically it was turning off. Um, I'm only currently using it for video conferencing but I may use it for streaming in the future. Uh, if you can't tell, I have not eaten breakfast and uh, it's the morning. <laughs> I got woken up at half past five by my next door neighbor having a skip uh, delivered. And it sounded like they were banging it on the ground about a hundred times. And then not much later, people starting throwing bits of concrete into it. Uh, and I haven't had a coffee, <laughs> but I wanted to get this firmware update done <laughs> and get it over and done because I've been wanting to do it for a while. And now it, the, the camera's sort of cut out a, a few times like during calls, so not cut out, but timed out and stopped live view. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to do this video and show those few little things with the, well, so that you can do the update through this web page. You don't need like to use like a separate app. Um, and don't mention about the video bit rate going up. Uh, be good if you're using it to record video onto SD card or streaming is probably gonna have that upper cap moved up and oh yeah this thing about the old firmware that was the stumbling block because yeah the official one you're like ah oh, where's, where's 102 then how do I get it but yeah wayback machine and then the wayback machine didn't load that uh, file correctly but that's still a valid link here at Nikon's image library in their own archive, so it's still there. And you could do the same for the Windows version. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Stick it on uh, the 15 minute live view setting and then live view will last at least 24 hours, maybe seven days, maybe longer. I say seven days because there was a number in there and it seemed like if you divided it by something else then it was about seven days uh it went on there uh, it was compared to another setting so wasn't pulled quite out of thin air but it's a bit of a guess but yeah someone else said it was like longer than 24 hours so i think you'd be good and i think this is the end of this amazing video which I'll cut to get rid of all the silence, awkward bits, like now. <laughs> okay, uh, that's it. Bye. <laughs> Wrong one. And this is like an old person trying to end.